everyone, Ricky Grove here, Managing Editor at Renderosity.com, and this is News of the Week for October 29th through November 5th, 2022. And a very happy Halloween to you all. Our News of the Week video features essential Renderosity.com news and hand-picked computer graphics industry news via Renderositymagazine.com. News, interviews, tutorials, features, and more. And in Renderosity news, our Gallery of the Week is a special Halloween-themed gallery. Halloween is increasingly becoming a world holiday. We love Halloween here at Renderosity and have chosen 10 works with a Halloween theme for this week's Gallery of the Week. Click the link to watch the video. Remember, Renderosity's Halloween contest is open for entries. You can submit in 2D, 3D, photography, writers, and animation. The theme is Trick or Treat. Submissions close on November 1st, 2022, and winners will be announced on November 17th. Check this link for the details and our sponsors. October 2022, Jack-O-Lantern. All members can save on top seller stores up to 50% off. Sale valid through 11.59 Central Time, Monday, October 31st. And in Renderosity Magazine news, Building an Underground Temple in Unreal Engine 4. Nemerik takes us through the creation of a spooky underground temple in this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. You'll love it. Using AI-generated images for headshots. Warlord 720 has come up with a novel way of using Real Illusion's headshot application. Use faces and heads created with AI. This expands your ability to create unique characters. Check it out, it's great. And finally, 20 Years of Open Source Blender by Mario Hawat from Blender Nation. It's hard to believe it, but Blender has been in development for 20 years. What a wonderful dedication! We congratulate Toon Rusendahl and the Blender Foundation for his their untiring efforts to make Blender so great. They single-handedly have advanced open source technology and the appeal of open source, and we thank you. And that's our news this week. Be prepared for a spooky Halloween. Take care. Bye-bye.